Go on, skip a judge. Blackpot, Coco Show, Rama. Next story says what? Watch it. Rolling. Reverend Kusi Boatin cries bitterly. Oh gosh, who is this man? You know him. I've talked about him over and over. He's a prophet. A Christian reverend minister. People revere him. They love him. In fact, he celebrates his birthday. Hmm? And he has great people coming in to support him. All of a sudden, there was an expose that showed that he had two different identities. One of them born in 1969. The other one born in 1971. One man, two different mothers, and Okujeto Ablakwa, MP for North Tongue, has been on his heels. Hey! Now the matter has become serious. Reverend Kusi Boatin has run to the courts to place an injunction on Okujato Ablakwa never ever to say anything about this expose, at least not after 10 days. Better still, not before 10 days. For 10 days, he should stay away from that. And before the 10 days expired, what did he do? The first one was injunction. Don't talk about me for the next 10 days. And whilst Ablakwa was waiting to see that, oh, after the 10 days, he would come back with more, he's been hit again. Reverend Kusi Boatin sues Okujato Ablakwa for defamation. Do you understand? For 10 days, the court said, don't speak about that man. Don't publish anything about him. Because Okujato Ablakwa had been publishing so many different things about this man. Very, very credible. Going to bring out his Ghana card. In fact, talking to the NIA and proving the NIA wrong. Debating intellectually. This is a great man that I love. In fact, when the preacher man realized that all his semantics were not working, the propaganda using Paul, Adumotri and the rest did not work, he decided to run to the court crying bitterly. First, for 10 solid days, never bring out any expose about me. Don't talk about me. The court granted it. We saw Okujato Ablakwa kicking some court papers on the floor. Remember, we showed it here. As to whether he kicked the right papers on the floor or not, at least we were made to believe that he was kicking the court papers on the floor. Probably was waiting. After 10 days, I would bring out more information. But Reverend Kusi Boatin had a plan. Within the 10 days, Pam is what he gave out. Reverend Kusi Boatin sues Okujato Ablakwa for defamation. Come here. He says what? Reverend Kusi Boatin, member and secretary to the board of trustees of the National Cathedral, has sued a member of parliament for North Tong for defamation. Accra based Joy FM reported late Friday, that's February 3, that the plaintiff, Reverend Kusi Boatin, in his statement of claim, says. Uh, uh, the lawmaker Samuel Okujato Ablakwa was engaged in actions he deemed not only misleading but calculated to injure his reputation. The main issue is of Ablakwa's claims that the plaintiff's company, JNS Talent Center, benefited from illegal fund transfers from the National Cathedral Secretariat with no work done. The plaintiff states that the statement published were defamatory and were altered with malice and with the sole intent of reducing him in the estimation of all right-thinking members of society as a corrupt, greedy, morally reprehensible, and dishonest reverend minister of the gospel, portions of the writ indicated. According to Reverend Kusibuatin, Misleading as the claims are, they have enjoyed wide readership and engagement on social media platforms where the MP routine, routinely makes his publications. He said, the MP's actions are thus calculated to injure the reputation of the plaintiff in the minds of his family members, his congregation, fellow ministers of the gospel, locally and internationally, well-meaning members of the society, home and abroad. A. A declaration 
that the statements made by the defendant are defamatory. B, an order uh, directed at the defendant to publish on the same platform that he published the defamatory words as well as a full page of the daily graphic newspaper on six consecutive occasions over a six-month period. An unqualified retraction and an apology. So this is what Reverend Kusi Boatin is looking for. Number one, he's gone to court asking the court for a declaration that the statements were made, that were made by the defendant were defamatory. And two, he should take a whole page of the Daily Graphic and publish every day, retracting everything he said for six months. Six months. So let's say 30 days in a month, 30 times seven times six. A black one should do that. See, an order for perpetual injunction restraining the defendant, his agents, assigns, and servers from further publishing in a defamatory ways against the plaintiff. D, general damages for defamation. E, costs. And F, any other orders as this honorable court may deem fit. So a black will pay money. A black will publish for six months every day in the daily graphic that he had lied. And he will retract everything. This is what Reverend Kusi Boatin has gone to court for. That shit away. That's what it is. My brother, my sister, from where I stand, a lot of the things that Ablaqua brought out are nothing but very credible. The NIA, National Identification Authority, came out and made it clear that the Reverend Minister brought documents that were credible. That was why they gave him a certain Ghana card. But in their statement, they went ahead to say, that they have a certain synchronized system with the social security and some other outfits. So, if this man has two names, and in some of these outfits that they mentioned, including the GRA, where the man has two different names, two different mothers, two different dates of birth, right there, how were they not able to synchronize? Do you understand what I mean? Because this is supposed to be identified biometric. Once your fingerprints are there, it should show that you are the one. You can't have two days of birth. You can't have two mothers. And they are synchronized with all these institutions. How come Reverend Kusi Boatin was able to get a Ghana identity card from the NIA, the passport office? yet was not able to find out that this same person whose fingerprints they were taking had dual identities. One with GRA. I don't know how many people understand this, but this is clear. Kusi Boateng has a very Herculean task in front of him right now. I don't know how he's going to get away from that. But to Ablakwa, you are a hero. You are my hero. I love you. It doesn't matter what the outcome is. Even if you lose, at least you would have done your work as an MP. Even if you lose, we would have known that you fought a very good fight. There are some times you lose and it's almost like you have won. The loser is even more regarded than the winner. That's why Bob Marley said, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. Blackwood. Coco, show them.